Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are playing Sprocket and hopefully we are going to have a good time doing it. So, the mission that we're actually doing today is the Interwar one, where we actually fight on the dunes. Now, this is going to be kind of tricky. Um, I've seen some people actually do this one before. I've done this one before and it actually worked out quite well. Uh, but today we're going to build an Interwar tank. Hopefully it'll look quite good. Hopefully it'll work really well. Um, yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Okie dokie, so I actually want a really small tank for this. I don't want it to be very big at all, so let's go ahead and start with the length. Uh, we'll make it about 4 meters long. I know that's pretty small, but it should be okay. Uh, the width of it is actually going to be 1.4 as well. There we go, it's going to be a small boy. Uh, but hopefully, that's actually a okay. Now, I am going to do as much of it as I can in the simple hull editor, and then once we actually get through this, uh, we can go into the edit free form and we'll do it that way. Anyway, mobility, let's go straight to this. Yes, go straight to the tracks and we'll work on these. Um, I don't really know how I want the tracks to look on this. I'm not going to lie, I really don't know. Uh, but I'm thinking we're actually going to have a quite a big... Um, should we have the sprocket at the front for once? I rarely have the sprocket at the front, so we'll do that. There we go. Uh, and we'll actually bring it backwards a little bit and we'll make it a little bit bigger. In fact, a lot bigger. There we go, we're going to have a huge sprocket at the front. At the rear, we're actually going to go ahead and lower this idler down. And we'll have it somewhat like this. And I think that actually looks pretty sick. In fact, actually, let's make the diameter of this a little bit smaller. And we'll have it come up to there. And that looks pretty good to me, actually. Uh, we're going to go to suspension. We are going to go with these guys, if we can. Uh, can I make the height of this, like, more? Is that a thing? Can we make the height of it taller? I don't know. Road wheels. Width. No. Forward. Height. Height. This is what we want. So that's going to go like that. We're going to make them a little bit smaller. And we're going to have two of them. And that looks pretty good to me, actually. I kind of like that. Nice. Okie dokie. So with all that being said, now we are going to go back to the base. And we are going to work on this a little bit. We're actually going to go ahead and grab this guy. Uh, and angle it backwards quite a little bit like this. That's excellent. We're going to angle this whole edge in quite a bit as well. That seems pretty good. Uh, and this is like the shape I usually take with my stuff. We're now going to go into freeform because I think it'll be pretty cool. And we're going to go to edges. We're going to go to the edit options. Can I somehow like split this? Is that something that I can do? I, I want to split it. I don't know how to do that though. Is there a split? Is there something that we can split? I don't know. Split right here. There we go. Excellent. Yes, this is pretty sick. So what I want to do is I want to actually move this point forwards. Kind of like this, and have a bit of a bulge on the front. I know that seems weird, but I kind of like it. In fact, I really like it. There we go. Do that backwards, do this backwards, and that actually looks pretty sick. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Yeah, that actually looks really cool, actually. I kind of like it. We're also going to go ahead and angle this bit backwards quite a chunk as well. Uh, and we're also going to angle these bits backwards too, uh, so we have a really weird looking front end. I think that is actually going to look sick, though. I like it. Okay, so something has happened here, and I really just want to ignore it, kind of, but uh, at the same time, I really don't. So, if you guys can notice this, uh, it happens on pretty much all of the builds that I do. Um, but as you guys can see, this one's actually indented, uh, and you can see that because this is actually showing. On this side, this bit isn't showing because this bit is actually outwards. Now, I think the way that we should be able to change this is by clicking invert on here. Uh, but that doesn't seem to do anything, so this one's gone in quite a distance, and this one's actually poking out quite a distance. I don't know what we do about that. I, I really, really do not know what we do about that. Unless I delete it and we try and put it back, I, I, maybe that's something that we can do? I'm not so sure, but let's go ahead and press fill. No, you see, it's pointing outwards, and this one's still pointing inwards. I don't know how we change that. I really don't. But just because I really wanted it to be like this weird angle on the front, I guess we'll go with it. Uh, it's going to be asymmetrical apparently, but I guess that's okay. Sure. Okie dokie. So as for the rear of the tank, we're actually going to go ahead and lower this bit down as well as this little piece right here. Uh, there's no point in not using this area at the back, so we are going to use it. And uh, we're going to go to faces and we're going to extend it backwards as well. So extend this, have it come out quite a distance. Uh, go to points, grab this one, this one, and this one. And we're actually going to go ahead and push them in. There we go. Excellent. And that actually looks pretty sick. 
And then I think I actually want to put some fuel tanks on the top of here. I think that'll actually look pretty good. Okie dokie, so now we are going to go to turrets straight away and we're going to whack this one on actually quite far towards the rear. There we go, excellent. We're going to make the diameter of the ring small enough to actually fit onto our, onto our tank and I think that'll be pretty sick. Now, the whole thing itself is actually going to be squished downwards. There we go, excellent. And we're going to make the points of this one. In fact, actually, we'll extend the faces outwards and we'll make it like somewhat rounded. Like, not like super rounded, but a little bit. So we'll do one at the front, and we'll do twos at the back. And hopefully that'll end up looking pretty good. So here we go. Extend this one by two. So one, two. There we go. Do this one as well. One, two. And then this one. And this one. Backwards, just one. There we go. Excellent. Extend it again. Do the same thing. Extend. Okie dokie. One and one. Backwards one. There we go. Excellent. And then forwards two on these two. One, two. There we go. Excellent. Now that looks pretty weird. It looks like a bit of a chunky turret, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, we're actually going to go to the faces and extend this one backwards quite a chunk. And I think that actually looks pretty cool, to be fair. I actually really like the design of this. It looks a bit weird, fair, but I like it. We're also going to go ahead and extend upwards on the tippity top a little bit, if we totally can. Uh, so extend this bit up. There we go. Excellent. We're going to drag it inwards like so. We're going to drag it backwards like so as well. Uh, and I would say that that actually looks pretty sick. We're going to go forwards on this one though. There we go. Uh, and I feel like that actually looks pretty cool. It's quite a big turret though, to be fair. I literally just accidentally deleted the entire turret. So all of the stuff that we've literally just done has been deleted. Uh, that's annoying. <laughs> I can't alt, like I can't, I can't control Z it back. It doesn't actually come back. So I don't know what to do there. It's literally just gone. So that's super annoying. Anyway, you know what? Let's just work on the base uh, to begin with, and then we'll we'll go back to the turret after that. That's super annoying, though. That is super duper annoying. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put these shields on for the sprocket and the idler, because I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go to the idler wheel. It's going to look like this one. Uh, sprocket mount, that's fine. The sprocket is actually going to look like this one. That's fine as well. Suspension, that's already looking right. Uh, we're going to change these guys to look like that. The roll amounts are all fine. Track segments are actually going to look like... I don't know, like this. I feel like that's pretty cool looking. Uh, and that's all A-OK. -okay. That's pretty good. The length of them... Oh, no, wait. That's not what I wanted. That's not actually what I wanted to do. But realistically, they should be about four. There we go. That's fine. So what I wanted to do was the length of the belt. I wanted the length of the belt to actually be pretty short. But I wanted the width of it to be... A little bit smaller as well. I think that actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, so we're going to move on with this bit now. So let's go to crew. There we go. Excellent. We need a way of the crew to actually get in here. So we're going to go ahead and put one of these. Just a single one of these uh, sideways in the center. So it's going to go about there. Excellent. That's the way the crew members are actually going to be able to get in. Nice. We're going to go ahead and put two of these guys off to each side. Just like so. Driver is actually going to go right here in the middle. There we go. Excellent. Uh, the gunner, of course, is going to go on the gun. That's fine. The coupler is going to go on the gun as well. Antennas, I'm not sure what to do with those just yet, but we'll leave them for now. Uh, we are going to go ahead and put some of these boxes on, because I feel like they're actually pretty cool. So we'll go with one right there. Uh, I want it on both sides, so let's do that real quick. One right there. Excellent. And we'll do another one right in front of it. Bam. Nice. So far, this is actually looking pretty sick. I like it. Okie dokie, so now for the lights, we're actually going to go ahead and put those on the fenders. They're going to be huge, but that's okay, that's good. On the rear, we're obviously going to put them on the very edge uh, right here. Sort of in the boxes, but that's okay. Utilities, I don't know whether to add these. I I'm really not sure whether to add these. Uh, but essentially, these are just logs. Uh, and realistically, I would like to put them on the side, but up there actually seems okay. We need some pulley bar thingamabobbies. We're going to go ahead and put those right there. Excellent. Uh, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and put some on the rear as well. Just down here. It's very good. Uh, tools and stuff. I don't know where to put the tools and things. I'm thinking probably on the side right about here. Uh, we'll put the these ones on this side. And we'll put these ones on this side. That actually fits. That totally fits. Anti-infantry. We could put more guns on. But I'm thinking literally just... Oh, wow. They point off to the side. I can't have any, like, right in the middle. It doesn't really work. Uh, we can, however, 
have them pointing off to the side. Which is kind of sick, to be fair. We're going to roll with that. Since we already have these guys, we might as well roll with it completely. There we go. And that'll be their uh, their viewports. Nice. All right, guys. We got to go back to the turret. So we can actually go for a freeform turret like a rounded one like this. Or we could go for one like this, which actually fits, to be fair. Or we could go back to the one that we started with earlier. I think we're going to have to do the one we started with earlier. Uh, which kind of sucks a little bit, but that's fine. So... We need to make it smaller, uh, is the first problem, and then we need to do things from there. So, make it smaller like this, bring it down, I guess, with this one, and we're going to build it out from there. Hopefully, we can do it a similar way to how we did it earlier, but I really don't know. So, extend this outwards. Unfortunately, we've got this problem now. So, what I'm going to do is we're actually going to extend the turret upwards and go over it. Yeah, we're going to have a weird turret. I know it's a shot trap. I know it is, but honestly, it's okay. Because that deflects bullets down onto uh, a weak part of our hull. But I promise it's okay. I, well, I don't know why I promised, but there you go. Extend this out to the side. Go ahead and go out sideways. Extend it upwards just a tiny bit. This is going to be a really weird turret. That's fine. Uh, this bit and this bit obviously need to go down. There we go. Excellent. And honestly, maybe we can actually get, like just convert this to the shape of the turret. Maybe this is fine. Yeah. Okay, we'll have that go like that. That's excellent. Go to faces. We'll grab this one. Extend it. And honestly, we're actually going to go ahead and extend the bottom bits of it. If I can grab them. This bit and... I can't grab it in the right place. Maybe edges is the best way to go. There we go. Excellent. Up to there. Very nice. And then we can actually just extend it from here backwards. So, extend. There we go. Alright, awesome. Have it come upwards a little touch. And do this. This one and this one go down. That's actually pretty cool. Now, I would like, if I could, to attach this guy to this guy in some sort of spectacular way. But I don't think that's going to work, to be honest. So, points. Maybe if we grab this one and this one, we can actually just drag this this way and also this way. Uh, no. Actually, let's not do it that way. Okay, faces. Extend this one. There we go. And push it in. There we go. And that's it, actually. That totally works. That's completely fine. We're then going to go to these faces. Extend this one. Um, into here. Fully. And all the way this way. There we go. Fully. Excellent. Then we're going to go to points. Grab this one and this one. Bring it out. Oh, God. Okay. I made a bit of a mess here, guys. I've made a full-on mess. I want to grab this point. There we go. Extend this upwards to there. Do the same thing with this one. Yeah. No, I mean, that's kind of how I want it, except something's going on with the top part. I don't know what's happened here. I don't know. I don't know what's going on up here. I really don't. Um. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? If I delete this, and I delete this, and I also delete this, and also this piece. Delete. There we go. Wait, did I extend that? I, ex I accidentally extended it. Hold on. Go back. Delete. There we go. And then I delete this piece as well, maybe? De delete. Yeah. And then I haven't done anything with this part, which is annoying. So that's our problem, maybe. So extend this. Drag it inwards. Drag it outwards to here. Drag it inwards again. Okay, excellent. We then need to go to the points. Drag this bit upwards to there. And same with this bit. There we go. Excellent. Drag this piece upwards as well. That's fine. There we go. Excellent. And then we need to delete the tops. So delete this. There we go. Go to points. Actually, can I delete all of those faces too? Is that possible? Delete that. I can't actually seem to get in there to delete that one. Uh, so that's a problem. But you know what? Actually, points. Go to this one. To this one. To this one. To this one. And put in fill. There we go. All right. We fixed it. Nice. All right. So now we're extending the front. We're going to go upwards quite a chunk. We're going to go forwards a little bit as well. And then we're going to go ahead and go to this point and drag it downwards. And that looks pretty okay. We're going to drag it in. And drag it in again. There we go. And drag it backwards. Actually quite far, like this. And I think that's actually a pretty good shape for a turret, maybe. Now grab these ones as well, drag these in. 
Excellent. And then we go to firepower. Grab one of these guys. Make it kind of small. And put it on there. Like that. There we go. Kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of like it. Uh, but now I actually want to extend all of the faces on the top upwards. So all of this is actually going to be extended. And then it's going to go backwards. But also backwards quite far. And also inwards quite far as well. There we go. I don't know what's going on with this bit. What's happened there? What Like, what is going on there? So if we do this... Something's happening with this side and I don't know what it is. What's going on there? I don't know. I don't know. This is upsetty spaghetti. But honestly, grab this one and this one. And drag it inwards. And also, I guess this one and this one. And also, the one that's inside of that one as well. If we can. I can't seem to grab it, so we'll just grab it now. There we go. Alright, okay, cool. So, that's pretty weird, but honestly it works. Uh, we're then going to grab this one and this one. And we're going to push it forwards till it's flat. Okay, very, very strange moves on the back of here. Uh, but that's okay. Alright, what happens if I delete these? So delete this one and this one. Delete. And then we actually go to points. This bit. This bit. This bit. This bit. And actually, not that bit. This bit. There we go. This piece. This piece. This piece. And this piece. Alright, and then we click fill. You can only connect four points at a time. Ah, oh, what? No! Alright, fill. There we go. And then fill this one as well. Is it going to be different? No, they're... They're both... The same? Or are they different? I'm not sure. I don't know. But anyway, turret. I like it the way it is. We're going to keep it the way it is. Let's just go for it. Okay. Um, base. No. Crew. That's where I need to be. Commanders, Koopla, Thingamabobby. Let's go ahead and put one of these. Right on the top of here. We'll make it look kind of snazzy if we can. For some reason, I can't build up here. It's not letting me actually put it in the place where I want it. Right in the middle. Why isn't it letting me build properly? I'm getting very upsetty spaghetti, guys. I'm getting upsetty spaghetti. I can't move it over. Alright, well, we'll leave it there for now. It's not really where I want it, but it's where I have to have it. Never mind. Alright, cool. Uh, we'll also have one of these up here. Just one. Uh, right about there. And that's kind of cool. I like it. Stowages, uh, we'll have one of these in the back of here as well. Very small, or a lot smaller than normal, but there. Okay, excellent. Nice. So now I think we've actually done a pretty good job with this. We're going to add one of these. On... I want to build on the top, but I can't. It's not letting me build up here. Only at the very edge. But that's not really where I want to be. It's not where I want to build. Sag. Alright, go ahead and put this here. A little bit smaller. Actually, no, we won't. We won't put it there. Uh, structural. No, 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 no. Crew hatches. One of these. Alright, and this is where the ammunition is going to be uh, put into the machine. And also taken out of the machine. Off to the side. Right about there. Excellent. Looks a bit weird. Doesn't really fit, but that's fine. Right. So, I need to see if this will work as a uh, as a tank killer. And also as a full mission, mission doer. Uh, I think it will, honestly. Oh, we also need more things. So, mobility. We need to go to fuel. We need to get rid of all of our fuel, pretty much with 100 liters. Get an extra fuel tank, put it there. We'll have two. Excellent. And we'll have our actual fuel tank go back here. We then need to go to our engine. We need exhaust pipes somewhere. I'm thinking we put them here would actually look pretty cool. Would actually look really cool actually. So we're going to go ahead and put them there. Nice. That looks sick. And we'll also have our vents very small on the back right here. There we go. Excellent. So now we've actually got we got a pretty decent tank here. I think it's going to do well. Uh, and hopefully all will actually do well. Excellent. Nice. Alright, so the last thing that I really want to do then is I need to go to base and I need to go to faces. We need to armor up the whole front of this. Uh, ready for a war. So there we go. We grab all of these pieces. And honestly, we're just going to make it... What's the largest? 60. We're going to make the front about 40. Literally all of the front is 40. 
That seems pretty good. Okay, excellent. The sides, all of the sides. So we got quite a lot of sides going on here. There we go. And this side is... Oh, wait. It mirrors anyway, doesn't it? I think it mirrors. Uh, the sides are actually going to be 30. There we go. So is this the same? This is already 30. Good. Uh, the top is going to be... Well, actually, just the side bits of the top are actually going to be 20. There we go. Excellent. Uh, so that's the front, the sides, the top done. Now the turret. This is where things get a little bit... Oh, very annoying. Because I can't even seem to grab the turret. I can't actually grab the bits of the turret that I need to. So we're just going to die constantly because I can't actually grab these pieces. Oh, that's super annoying. What? I can't grab these guys. Sag! I, I don't know what to do there because all of the armor is only going to be 10. It's only going to be 10 mil and every time they shoot me in the turret, I'll die. I can't do anything about it though. I can only armor this bit, this bit. I can't armor any of the other bits. Honestly, like, I can't armor the front. That sucks. That's really annoying. I think it might be because it's uh, it's attaching to all the things on the inside, but that that shouldn't really matter, to be fair. Uh, should we go for the default gun? I mean, it's a pretty big gun for a default gun, but uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe. Let's go with 50 mil. There we go, 50 mil. I want the pen to be actually quite high if I can. Um, which means a bigger round, but we'll go with something like 65. Alright, that's a lot of pen. But, there's a problem with that. Because the actual barrel is going to be shorter. Like a hell of a lot shorter. There we go, 60. Alright, I actually like that for the barrel. That looks pretty good. Uh, it's very short, but that's okay. And now let's make the round fit the gun. There, there we go, nice. Our pen is going to be 63.6, and I think we're good to go. Honestly, it's kind of annoying that I can't armor the turret. But we're going to roll with it anyway. We should get quite a lot of tanks out of this. Uh, and that should be great, actually. Should be really good. Snow, desert. We are in a desert, so let's go with this one. Okay, excellent. And then decals. We will go with a French tank. French tank Aruni. There we go. We'll put that right on the side of there. Excellent. Looks quite nice, actually. Totally works. Flags, we could put the French flag on the front as well if we wanted to, but... I don't know. We'll just put a French flag right here for now. Excellent. Right, okay. So, with that being said, we need to go back to base. We need to go to the turret basket. We need to make it way bigger so that we can actually fit uh, things in it. <laughs> we need to fit things in it. Get rid of some rounds. All right, that doesn't actually work. Get rid of some rounds in the hole. In fact, get rid of all the rounds in the hole, put the rounds back in the turret, and then go to the turret basket and make it bigger. There we go. All right, cool. Good. Go to the crew. Give them all the room in the world. Actually, don't. Make make them have less room. There we go. All right, we're good to go. Let's just go for it. We have a lot of our friendly tanks. There's going to be a lot of enemy tanks. We don't have an armored turret. I'm sure it's fine. Look at us go. Yes. The little tank army is out of here. Yes. It actually looks pretty good, to be fair. Uh, I didn't want the cupola to actually be over the side like it is, but it, it is, so there's nothing we can really do about that. Um, but as a little tank, to have lots of little tanks with it, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to continue with mine. We're going to send mine straight in. Apparently, we've already taken out one of their tanks, which is excellent. Uh, and we're going to continue to do so, hopefully. Yeah. What's that guy doing? What's that, like, really dark bit on our hull, by the way? like a really really dark bit underneath strange oh we're taking out all of them actually this tank seems to be winning which is excellent is that one already dead or no no i can't aim it down i can't actually aim it down that sucks a little bit all right we're gonna shoot at this guy all right okay apparently they just one shot every enemy <laughs> it seems to be the case they haven't taken out any of my tanks yet Literally none of my tanks have died. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we can't kill that one. We can't kill him. He's taken out one of my guys. No, that's not good. Shoot him in the side, quick. Quick. Kill him. Kill the man. How can't we kill that tank? 
Let's drive. Come on. I think we got it. No, we didn't. No, no, we did. We did. There we go. We got that one as well. Any more enemies to shoot at? Oh, there's a guy up on the hill over there. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Let's go. All right. No, wait. Is that guy dead? Who are we aiming at, guys? What has happened to that tank? Why is he so fast? Also, where is he going? Where are you going? Deserter! Alright, I got him. Um, right, okay. So I don't know where the enemy tanks are. There's, there should be more. Apparently. I just don't know where they are. Um, interesting. But we won. I mean, like, we've definitely won. Most of my tanks survived that. In fact, pretty much all of my tanks survived that, except, like, two. And one of them was one that I killed. There we go. Apparently we got the enemy, so we're done. We're actually done. So this tank is is actually okay for a, a desert assault. It, it seems to fully work, which is um, excellent. Uh, unfortunately, though, obviously we can't armor the turret. The turret isn't the shape that I wanted it to be either. The turret that I deleted is the shape I want it to be. Uh, and also the shape of the front being like completely random is very strange too. But, um, yeah, I think for right now, I'm going to actually end this video here. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.